Good morning. Okay. Hybrid week. Oh my gosh, we're actually going to see each other. Some of you are like, yippee! And some of you are like, oh, I know, that's okay. Okay, the modules are going to start looking different. They have to. Because we have A-B days, right? So you're here for two days. You're at home for two days. And then everybody's at home on Friday. Except me, I'm here, okay? So... Oh yeah, and then there's virtual kids who are like always at home. So the modules are gonna start looking a little different, okay? Okay. This is this week's module, September 15th. And I hope you notice, I'm that mean, horrible, terrible teacher. I actually want you to learn stuff so you have to complete everything. Also, <clears throat> Same as before, prerequisite. That means if you have not yet finished, where is it? Week eight, you, you can't move on. Um, I have some of y'all that haven't finished week, this one. Guys, just a little FYI, this is the end of the six weeks. Do you realize that? You're like, nah, -uh. we still have two more weeks. Nah, -uh. this week <clears throat> is the last week I'm taking grades for the six weeks. Next week starts grades for next six weeks. This is it. That's why some of y'all I've been emailing often saying you're. <laughs> this this is the week you need to take care of business or sweet angels. You're not gonna pass. Okay. <clears throat> so be sure that you take care of August 31st and September 8th. And then move on to September 15th this week. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so just like always, um, you're gonna have the tutorials at the top. The notes for this unit, they're here again. I've had some kids that have emailed and they're like, these are the same notes. I know, I told y'all that. Um, these are the same notes because it's the same unit, but come on. Okay, here we go. I was like, it's taking too long. Let me move my head. But they're not exactly the same notes because we're adding to them. Um, the week of August 31st, I believe you did this. Daral Islam. Then last week you had India and then you had China and Mongolia. <clears throat> oh my gosh. This week we're finishing with medieval Cambodia, Cambodia and medieval Japan, feudal Japan. And then we have our test. We have a test coming really quick, which is another reason I've been emailing some of y'all because I know what's coming. I don't email y'all and say, hey, um, you're missing these assignments just because I'm a mean witch. I want you to do well and you can't if you haven't done all this. You have a test early Monday and Tuesday of next week. Okay, just saying. So yeah, it's the same unit of notes, but, oh, that's actually the test. Let's X out of that. Um, but it, it, it's because we're adding to it each time, okay? So you have your notes here. Um, you also have this thesis document packet. Some of y'all have been using it and that's awesome. You're turning in your theses on this document and, and some of you aren't, it doesn't matter. Um, I gave this to you for optional use if you just wanted to keep them all in the same place. Okay. What you should notice first is I have numbered these. <clears throat> I have numbered these instead of day them. They used to say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, that doesn't really work when we're in a hybrid situation. So they're now numbered. Number one is missing because number one is going to be this video. 
Okay. Then number two, number three, number four, number five. Um, just like previously, you're going to have to actually, I keep coughing, you guys. <clears throat> you're going to have to actually do it before you can move on. See, like I've done this one already. Now I can do my thesis. Guys, this is the last thesis for this unit also. Are you looking? This will be 6.25 points toward the thesis grade in Skyward, which is a major grade. <clears throat> this should take you five minutes to do. I've had some kids this week, they're like, oh, it's just too much work. You're in an AP class. You're college level. I gave you three hours of work. And this right here takes like five minutes if you know how to do a thesis. What I'm seeing is that some of you guys that aren't doing thesis correctly, you haven't watched the thesis video where I explained how to do thesis. How can I tell you haven't watched it? She doesn't know. Yeah, I do. Guys, on Canvas, I can see. I can see how much of a video you've watched. In a minute, I'll pause this and see if I can go into my test student, okay? Um, I'm afraid if I click on it without looking at it first, you'll see everybody's and that's a no-no, but I'll look and see if I can show you that in a minute, okay? Because I know y'all don't believe me, but I can see what you've done and what you haven't. I can see when you've watched 20% of a video and then you've turned in all of these theses and I keep commenting and I'm like, you don't quite have it right. This is not a thesis. This is not a thesis. This is not a thesis sentence. I need you to do a thesis sentence. Guys, if you don't have a thesis sentence in your AP essay on the AP test, you are dead in the water. The AP test is 60%, 60% writing. And on all of those essays, the DBQ, the LAQ, and the SAQs, you're gonna be expected to have a thesis sentence. That's why I start with this now in August. And some of y'all have written and said, okay, I get that this is easy, but it's kind of hard too. I know, that's why we start now. So that once you get to May, it's like second hat, it's like a reflex. You don't even have to think about it. You're like STEM and three proofs. I don't even need to think about it, okay? If, if I'm commenting to you that you're not getting your thesis is right, I just said that wrong, your theses, right? And I'm telling you, you need to watch these videos. It's because I can see that you have it. Okay, so you have this document to look at about the Khmer Kingdom in Cambodia. Then you write your thesis. Easy, no big deal, yeah? Again, because we're like, oh, there's, there's five theses to do this week. This should take you five minutes. You look at this, you read this, and then you look at all these pictures because some of these pictures are interesting. That is not normal for a temple. What is that? Well, those are tree roots. That is not normal for a temple. What is that? Those are tree roots. What's going on with this temple? Hmm. That's for you to guess. That's for you to figure out in your thesis. It should take you five minutes. <laughs> so after you get your thesis turned in, let me do a quick submit or I can't move on. Blah, blah. Turn in. Confetti. And I will say again, some of y'all keep saying, I turned it in. If you didn't see that confetti, you didn't turn it in. Okay. All right, so now I can move on. See, look, I have two checks. Boom, boom. Now I can move on to the next piece of TCEASY. Each unit 
we're going to focus on a different part of TCEASY. If you're like, what is she talking about? It's because I know you didn't watch the video where I explain TCESY. That means, guys, you have to do this. That means you have to go back up here to the AP Info video. I'm sorry, the M AP Info week and watch TCEASY because sweet angels, we're doing this all year. It doesn't go away. I know that sometimes as human beings, I mean, I know I do. We're like, oh, it'll just go away if I don't think about it. It, it doesn't go away. So here, <clears throat> you're going to have to watch the video where I'm explaining to you what context is. If you get this, I'm having kids that are clicking on it once and going, oh, Ed Puzzle doesn't work. Yes, it does. It almost always does this to me the first time. And you hit refresh. And then you have your context is king video. These are the videos where like over here, you have questions that you have to answer. They're grades. And some of y'all haven't done them. And then you wonder why you're like not able to write a thesis. In this situation, next unit, you're going to wonder why you can't do context. I'm going to pull this up and show you that you didn't do it or that you only watched 20% of it. Um, let me pause this video for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I want you to see what I see. When I grade <clears throat> your assignments, I want you to see what I see. So this is the thesis, explanation, and practice video. I can't scroll up because you'll see names. But look, my test student has never watched this video. Somebody, my head's covering it, has watched 40% of it, but they didn't turn in the assignment that goes with it. Somebody else has watched 70% of it, but they didn't turn in the assignment that goes with it, the questions at the end. Somebody else did 70% of it, didn't turn it in. Well, look at that. This person did the whole thing. This person did it, but didn't turn it in. Okay, let me pause it again and scroll down and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so I've scrolled down a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. All of these kids, do you see from here all the way down, have finished it. They, they watched it and they turned in the questions at the end. Guys, let me get out of this. I'm not the kind of teacher who just goes, did they do it? Check, check, check. I'm actually reading your stuff. Um, I'm actually commenting on your stuff, okay? Let me go back into student view so you can look at something else. In student view, you can click on the right side and you can see your grades. It says grades right here. Um, this is my test student, this is me, okay? You can see exactly what grades you have for lesson three, 100. You can see what you're missing. I have also commented on things. Um, if I go in, let's use, let's use this as an example, okay? Let me, I mean, I want you to see what I see. So I go in and I add a comment, adding a comment. Okay, now let's go back so that you can see what this looks like. Um, grades, I have to think of where I'm going. Okay, look, when you look at this assignment that you haven't turned in yet, look right here. There's a comment there. Click it, and it will tell you what I'm saying to you. 
guys, I'm telling y'all, like I'm commenting, um, okay, this isn't exactly a thesis, or I'm commenting things like, okay, you have all the elements of a thesis, now just put them together in one or two sentences, not five. Um, I'm commenting on things. I'm commenting on things like, hey, your document won't open. I keep having kids who are like, miss, why didn't you tell me? Well, I did. You need to look at your grades over here so that you can see what you're still missing. More importantly than that though, guys, I told y'all this at the very beginning. Y'all have got to stop clicking only on the to-do list assignments and only going to assignments up here. When you go to the left or the right of the screen, <clears throat> and I've told you this, and some of y'all are still doing it. All you're doing are the graded assignments. And you're like, that's all I need. No. Because all of your theses are due this week. And it is one big, massive grade. And some of y'all aren't doing them right. And some of y'all aren't doing them right because you haven't gone into here. What was it here? It was here and watched the thesis explanation video where I tell you how to write a thesis. Or some of you aren't coming into tutorials with me to talk to me about it. Because I'm here from one to three every day, sitting here waiting for y'all. And some of y'all are regulars and some of y'all, I wish you would come in because I want to help you. But you gotta do it. You you have to take that that step to do it or your grades and your AP tests this year, they're not gonna be pretty. And some of y'all are excellent students, but you're, you're just not, it's just not working. And it's not working because you're not doing the module. You need to go in order the module. Okay, look at number four. <clears throat> number four, the majority of you guys don't need to do. I have about 15 maybe out of 130 kids who haven't, they're not caught up. Only 15 out of 130, so that's darn good. This is documents catch up because these are due and it's a major grade. This is the last grade on the six weeks. Um, you should go to your grades over here and make sure you have a grade for each one of these. And if you don't, you need to do it because all of those points are gonna be added together for a major grade, okay? We do this in class too. When you're here next, that's a lie. Yes, next week, not this week, next week. When you're here the week of the 22nd, we're gonna start doing documents every day in class and we're gonna, we're gonna do thesis and context because we're adding in context now. It's always a major grade. <clears throat> so you need to make sure you have grades for all of these. Most of you, the majority of you, don't need to worry about this. Just check your grades and be like 100, 100, 100, 100, good. Now, again, don't freak out if it says like 12 points or six points or 18 points. That's okay. Um, if it's not six, 12, or 18, then you've lost points for something. Look at the comments. I don't just put a lower grade without a comment. All right. Once you're done with that, because really that's, for most of you, there's nothing to do there. I have added in your review for the Medieval Asia test. Your test is not this week, the 15th. It's the 21st that week, Monday and Tuesday of that week in class, okay? Um, this is your review sheet. <clears throat> Come on, okay. Um, this is what the review sheet, I'm sorry, the test will look like. There's multiple choice with pictures, maps, passages, and quotes. Um, there's matching people to their historical significance. And then there's two short answer paragraph like questions. They're just paragraphs. They're not essays. They're paragraphs. Um, you have 45 minutes. That's class time. You're like, how can I do it in 45 minutes? Guys, your AP test is timed. Okay. You have to start getting used to timed tests now. Or you're going to be on question 10 out of 100 or however many are on the AP test. 
after your time. So we got to get used to it. If you've studied, it's not a problem. You know how I know that? Because this is not my first year to teach. And most of the time, like, I don't think I've, I really am trying to think. I don't think I've ha had ever kids that are like, I, I didn't finish. You're gonna finish. If you didn't finish, you didn't study. This is the stuff you need to study right here. Be sure you know what Buddhism is. Be sure you know Siddhartha Gautama, the Four Noble Truths. This is your China notes. This is your Mongolia stuff. This is your India stuff. Dar al Islam. I'm telling you exactly what the two short answer questions are. You're welcome. You're going to have to write about in Indian, what? Chinese inventions and stuff that was traded on the Silk Road. You're like, how do I know that? Miss, you didn't teach this. Guys, if you're not watching the videos that I'm pro providing in the modules, you're right. You don't know this. That's why I keep telling y'all to go in order of the modules. Because if all you're doing is the assignments, you're not learning. You're getting a grade, but you're not actually learning. Your second little paragraph is going to be about the Indian caste system. Okay? You need to know it in order, and you need to know what it is and details about it. <clears throat> You're also going to see visuals um, on the AP test. Every single, every single multiple choice question will have a stimulus, a picture, a map, a quote, a passage for you to read. There are no questions like um, who was Siddhartha Gautama and you mark the founder of Buddhism. You wish it was that easy. No, no, not an AP. Okay, so you will have these pictures. These pictures are pictures you saw in your lessons. This is the civil service exam. This is the spread of Buddhism. This is Cambodia uh, Angkor Wat. Um, that is your, your um, document for this week. <clears throat> the weird temple with the roots and stuff, that's this. Um, and then here you have uh, trade routes, Silk Road trade routes. And then here you have Dar al Islam. That's your review sheet. Let me get out of here. So, okay. So <clears throat> this week we have in class and then you are finishing Cambodia and Japan. That's the end of the Asia notes. That's it, test next. I'm gonna go ahead and explain context to you and then you're gonna start context. And then either thesis catch up or you can start reviewing. You're like, why start reviewing now if the test isn't until the 21st? Because that's how you need to learn how to do it. What you should do is start reviewing now a little piece. Work on, spend 15 minutes reviewing the Indian Good caste morning, system. Good and happy Friday to all of you. I know many of you are doing the attendance training. Hold on. But I do want to. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, you're going to do your Cambodia and Japan. You're going to do your context explanation and practice. It's a grade. Do the questions at the end. If you've watched 20% of it, that's not enough. Um, then you have documents catch up for thesis if you haven't. Again, that's only like 15 of you. The rest of you on target. I'm so excited. And I am giving out stickers today for people who are finished with the previous thing. It's just same. And then review sheet. Okay. If you are not 100% virtual kid, you're always virtual. If you're not one of those, you're going to be here in class with me. You can go. Bye. But if you're 100% virtual, I need you to hang on for a minute. Because history is a story, hybrid is a little bit of a problem for us. So I have gotten permission to give you guys who are virtual every day a slightly different order of things. You are still learning the exact same stuff everybody else is, but I'm going to give you a slightly different order. Right now, there's nothing here for you, okay? Um, 
Monday, probably Wednesday, maybe Wednesday of next week, you're going to suddenly see something here. Because what we're doing in class is we're talking about um, Canvas tips, ex expectations, stuff like that. And if there's something that I'm like, ooh, I need to be sure and tell the virtual kids this, I'm going to stick it in another little video for you down here. I don't think it'll be very long. It's not going to be that much. But um, just be aware that you're going to start seeing virtual online academy students only. That means, are you listening? If you are 100% virtual and you are not stepping up on this campus, not you're not coming here for school. Now listen, don't follow what's up here. I may even change this to say hybrid students, lessons and assignments. This down here is gonna start being yours. This week, do this, okay? Because it's all gonna be the exact same order. But see, again, because history is a story, the flow has to be a little bit different if you're 100% virtual. It has to be, because in class, we we get off on discussions. I teach through discussion. And and I say get off on them. It's not that we get off target. We don't. But like kids will ask a question that will cause us to veer off and talk about another civilization or another kingdom for a second. And then we'll go back to what we're talking about. The problem for y'all is going to be you're not you're missing all that. You need that. I can go, oh, in class, somebody brought up this. Somebody made a connection between, I don't know, Queen Elizabeth and the Americas. And I need to be sure that my, my I need to be sure that my online kids know that. So things are going to have to be a little bit different for y'all. You're still learning the same thing. But I'm going to put a separate kind of order for you down here. Okay. Don't freak out. Don't worry about this. This week, yes. This week, do this. Starting next week, you're going to see down here, and it'll be a whole new one, two, three, four, okay? You follow down here. This week, let me say again, this week, do this. Next week, though, because I'm going to be uploading things that we bring up in class. I keep pointing at the desks like you can see the desks. That's what I'm pointing at, right there, desk, okay? So anyway, when I'm doing this, that's why I'm pointing at the desks. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different, okay, um, for you, but it's still the same stuff, just a different order, no big deal, okay? Um, on the tests, everything will still all come together, all right? Um, I think that's it. If you have questions, ask. Das ist alles. Okay, bye.